Hello everyone, my name is Anuj Jindal and let's talk about our Republic Day. First of all, I would like to wish everyone a very happy Republic Day 2023. This is our 74th Republic Day that we are celebrating. Bahut sare Indians sochte hain ki Republic Day kyun manaya jata hai? How is it different from the Independence Day that we celebrate on 15th August? Iski significance kya hai? Or present times mein is bar Republic Day mein aisa kya naya ho raha hai which is which holds a lot of significance for you. So I'll be answering all these questions and a lot more which are relevant not only for your awareness but also for your upcoming examinations. To baat karte hain Republic Day ke baare mein sabse pehle the first question that often pops up in our minds is why is it celebrated? Usko celebrate kiya hi kyun jata hai? Saurabh Kepal recently said, imagine that your rights were as permanent as the ongoing government. Matlab, 5 saal ke liye sarkar aai hai and your rights are also in line with those 5 years and that government. Another government comes in, those rights are either demolished, replaced completely with another set of rights ya fir aapko koi rights milenge hi nahi. Imagine that kind of a word, imagine that kind of an India. Well, it is very difficult, right? Aapko har paat saal mein apni habits, apni rights, apni duties, sab kuch change karna padega. You might face a lot of repercussions, repressions tomorrow if the rights change as the governments change. Isko protect karne ke liye humne constitution banaya. We created a constitution and gave that constitution more uh, powers powers more than the government. Government chahe kohi bhi, koi bhi rahe, whether it is today or 75 years from today, the constitution stays the same. The rights that we have, the duties that we have, the provisions that are provided in the constitution, which ensure supremacy of the people, protection of the people, ye sab permanent rahega. For that, we needed a constitution. That is what we got on our Republic Day. Is then 26th January 1950 was the day when we signed a document saying that now finally we adopt and enact this constitution. Another reason why we celebrate 26th January as the Republic Day or why, why is it that we celebrate Republic Day at all is no family to be given the highest status through monarchy. Aap UK mein jaoge, aapko milega wahan pe monarchy hai. There is a, a family which is considered as the royal family. Elizabeth, you must have heard about her. Prince Charles, now King Charles, you must have heard about him. Lot of controversy surround that family. India does not have any monarch family like that. Aise koi bhi family nahi hai which has been given the highest status by the government. Aise koi bhi protected family nahi hai. What this means is supremacy, not of a family, not of any person, but of the constitution. And through this constitution, every individual in the country is supreme. Every citizen of India is equal and supreme. Ye den hai hamare constitution ki and that is why we celebrate 26th January with such pompous and so much uh, zeal every year as our Republic Day. Agar hamare paas constitution nahi hota, if we did not have supremacy of the people ensured through the constitution, to fir aapko pata nahi hota, aaj aapke rights kya hain, kal aapke rights kya honge. Tomorrow you do something, you might be put in jail saying that you have violated such and such act passed by the parliament, you have violated such and such provision of the act passed by the parliament, no matter how regressive it is, because there is no constitution safeguarding it. Let's move ahead. Ab samajhte hain what happened between 1947 to 1950. In this time period, because you know that we got independence in 1947, but in 1950 we became a republic. So why did it took, why did it take so long? And why is there a gap between Independence Day and Republic Day? Ye gap mein hua kya tha? So in 1947, India attained independence. But independence milne ke baad kya hua? 
जॉर्ज सिक्स वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज इंडिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मोनार्क सो इंडिया वॉज क्रिएटेड एज अ मोनार्की इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन आफ्टर इट अटेंड इंडिपेंडेंस बिकॉज वी डिड नॉट हैव एनी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टू कैरी आउट इलेक्शन वी डिड नॉट हैव एनी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टू टेल एस वॉट टू डू हाउ टू डू वॉट नॉट टू डू ये सब था ही नहीं वी डिड नॉट हैव ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड इट वॉज रेलिवेंट इट वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ हेड ऑफ द स्टेट हु इज मैनेजिंग एवरीथिंग हु इज साइनिंग ऑन वॉट एवर इज गोइंग ऑन देर फोर इंडिया वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड एज अ मोनार्क इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन India did not have its own constitution yet all acts were based on government of india act 1935 jo ki independence se pehle aaya tha a lot has had changed in these 12 13 years and therefore we needed something more futuristic something more indian in nature right something which is more focused on the rights of indians as independent people to humne kya kiya humne ek ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी बनाई वी क्रिएटेड अ कमेटी इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन इट सेल्फ ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑगस्ट एंड डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर वॉज द चेयरमैन वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द चेयरमैन ऑफ दिस कमेटी द पर्पज ऑफ दिस कमेटी वॉज टू ड्राफ्ट अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो दैट दिस मोनार्क कैन बी रिमूव एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो दैट द सुप्रीमेसी ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड सुप्रीमेसी ऑफ द पीपल थ्रू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कैन बी अचीव्ड इट टू कस Two years, eleven months, eighteen days to draft this lengthy yet all-inclusive constitution, and it was signed on twenty-fourth, but made effective from twenty-sixth January. Or is it then because we had a monarchy? Now, when the constitution has been enacted, we don't need a monarchy. Therefore, on twenty-sixth January nineteen fifty itself, we had Dr. Rajendra Prasad, who was appointed as the first president. so this is the relevance of our republic day let's come to the next question what did dr b r ambedkar think after 26 january he, he he was the one who created the constitution he must have been very proud but he brought out a contradiction which is very important and should be discussed and understood contradiction kya tha what was the contradiction that he was talking about he said now we have one vote one value every person has the right to vote and also at the same time every person's vote has one single value however there is no one person one value abhi bhi one man one value nahi hai why because there is inequality in the nation and that is the objective of the constitution to remove this inequality whether it is economic whether it is social whether it is cultural to remove these kinds of inequalities from the nation political humne remove kar diya kaise remove kar diya by giving one vote to every person and equal right equal value of that vote to every person ye humne bhale hi remove kar diya through this constitution through making india a republic but we still need to work on economic social and cultural equality and this is the starting point of doing that this is not the end that is what dr b r ambedkar had to say let's read through it because it's a very important paragraph that he said after we enacted our constitution on 26 january on the 26th of january 1950 we are going to enter into a life of contradictions in politics we will have equality in social and economic life we will have inequality in politics we will be recognizing the principle of one man one vote one vote one value but in our social and economic life we shall by reason of social and economic structure continue to deny the principle of one man one value ye unhone bahut clearly bol diya tha and i think it's a very important insight into what still persists inequality based upon economics inequality based upon our social status inequality because of the differences in our cultures that still exists in india and that is what dr b r ambedkar had already identified in 1950 on the day that we got our constitution ab republic day ki aapne you must have seen that there is a parade held what is the purpose of this parade ye kyun parade ki jati hai number 1 to show india's defense capability 
इंडिया की जो डिफेंस केपेबिलिटी है सबसे पहले उसको शोकेस किया जाता है नंबर टू टू शोकेस इंडिया कल्चरल हेरिटेज नंबर थ्री टू शोकेस इंडिया सोशल हिस्ट्री एंड हेरिटेज ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इट इज इज कनेक्टेड विद बॉट डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर हैड टू से वी आर ट्राइंग टू अटेन इक्वालिटी नॉट ओनली इन पॉलिटिकल लाइफ बट ऑल्सो इन आर कल्चर एंड सोशल हिस्ट्री एंड दैट इज वॉट आर रिपब्लिक डे ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेट्स एंड विद दैट सेलिब्रेशन वी आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट ऑल कल्चर्स ऑल सोसाइटीज इक्वल विद इन इंडिया एंड फोर्थली सिटीजन्स आर अवॉर्डेड पद्म अवार्ड्स इसमें पद्म अवार्ड्स में तीन होते हैं पद्म भूषण विभूषण पद्म श्री ये तीन अवार्ड्स दिए जाते हैं सो दीज आर अवार्ड्स अवॉर्डेड गिवन टू द सिटीजन्स फॉर देयर आउटस्टैंडिंग परफॉर्मेंस फॉर देर डिस्टिंग सर्विस टू द पीपल टू द नेशन तो ये मेन पर्पज होता है रिपब्लिक डे परेड का लेट्स नाउ कम टू रिपब्लिक डे परेड और रिपब्लिक डे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वेर वी हैव इन्वाइटेड मिस्टर अब्दुल फता अल सीसी हुज दी हेड ऑफ इजिप्ट इजिप्ट के वो हेड हैं उनको इन्वाइट किया गया है बट वाई बिकॉज आपने देखा होगा तीन चार साल पहले सम ईयर्स बैक ओबामा वॉज बराक ओबामा वॉज इन्वाइटेड ऐसा क्या हो गया कि हम यू एस से चेंज करके शिफ्ट करके अफ्रीका में आ गए हैं वॉट हैज चेंज इन द लास्ट फोर फाइव ईयर्स वाई इज इट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू इन्वाइट द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इजिप्ट एज द चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ रिपब्लिक डे बिकॉज जो भी ये फंक्शंस होते हैं इसमें इन्विटेशन का एक पर्पस होता है इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट इन्वाइटिंग एनी रैंडम पर्सन देर इज अ पर्पस इन्वॉल्व देर इज अ लार्जर पिक्चर इन्वॉल्व फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड वेयर इज इजिप्ट एंड वॉट इज इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस सो इट्स अ ट्रांस कॉन्टिनेंटल स्टेट हम इसको बोलते हैं ट्रांस कॉन्टिनेंटल स्टेट वाई बिकॉज इट इज टचिंग अपॉन मल्टीपल कॉन्टिनेंट्स इट इज अ लिंक बिटवीन मल्टीपल कॉन्टिनेंट्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच यूरोप यू गो हैव एक्सेस थ्रू इजिप्ट थ्रू दी सूस कैनाल रेड सी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस एफ्रीका इजिप्ट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस वेस्ट एशिया इजिप्ट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो इट्स एक्ट एज अ लिंकिंग पिन थ्रू लैंड एज वेल एज थ्रू वॉटर to various continents and that is why it is so important geographically is importance ki wajah se hi this is the main reason why we have invited the president of egypt why are we trying very hard to uh, create better relations with egypt to try and create something more interesting with the nation state jisse ki hum economically socially internationally zyada grow kar paye as a nation so connecting link between africa europe and west asian market so if you want to grow economically provide various of your exports to these three markets this is the linking pin and therefore you should have better good relations with egypt okay india middle east europe freight food energy corridor teen corridors sath mein banane ki baat chal rahi hai we are trying to work on that freight corridor food corridor energy corridor through which we can not only export our energy export our food export our freight also import various commodities at a lesser price in more reasonable terms to india so that we can grow faster aisa nahi ki hum log oil borrow oil khareed rahe hain 100 dollars mein yahan se hum log probably khareed sakte hain 70 dollars mein okay just a hypothetical example so that that is the ultimate objective of making india's freight food energy corridor a reality and a flourishing method of connecting with middle east africa as well as europe egypt right now imports 90% of its food requirements from russia and ukraine india is trying to replace that by providing for Ener egypt's food requirements through india alternative route to europe and west asia now we have always had access to these countries through pakistan afghanistan iran if not through the gwadar port but we are losing control over that these are very hostile nations and therefore india wants an alternative route and this region provides that alternative route this is the importance of egypt and this is why we have invited egypt's president this time so this was all about 
this was all about today's session where we talked about republic day republic day ki importance historically why is it celebrated and this year what is happening if you like these videos do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel press that like button so that more and more students can watch such videos learn something new every day all the best take care bye bye